Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering why my hair is a little flat and a little crazy looking. Today I'm going to show you how I curl my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. Actually, I don't curl my hair every day to be honest with you. I curl my hair typically right around two or three times a week. I'm not one who likes to put a lot of heating products in my hair because I feel like it's not very good for it. My hair is very dry, so when I do curl my hair, I like to make sure it's going to stay for a while. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is to make sure you use a good heat protectant. The heat protectant I typically use is something that I use right after the shower. This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle. So this one will detangle your hair and protect your hair from heat products. So that's perfect for me. This one smells amazing. The only place I've ever found to purchase this one though is through Birchbox. I'm hoping I can find another place because I'm almost out. This is almost empty so that's my favorite one. The next thing you need to do is go ahead and just get your curling iron and get it heated up. Right now I'm using the, Be the Beauty, to Beauty Tools Pro Curling Iron. This is the one I use. It does have a little stand here so you can stand it up and then it's just a clip type of curler. I do have this little Kiss um, heat mat that I use on my table. It's kind of dirty. I use that on my table to protect it from the curling iron just in case or it also protects if you use a flat iron. So if you want to set it down, you're not have, you don't have to worry about it trying to burn your table or burn anything that you don't want to be burnt. The next thing I recommend is getting some little clips. These are ones that are made by Chi. So these, typically what I do is I'll go ahead and start going through my hair and figuring out the, the sections I'm going to start with curling and the rest of it I'm going to pin up in these little clips. These, I guess these are alligator clips. So my hair is very simple how I do it. I don't put a whole lot of thought process in it so it's not like it's a whole drawn out process. So this is going to be super easy. I promise it's not very hard at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and split my hair in half. I'm going to grab a mirror because guess what? I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab a mirror here and I'm going to split my hair in half and then what I'm going to do is start by pulling out a section that I want to curl first and this is going to be the section in under here and I don't like I know a lot of people I see they split their hair completely in half and they'll go around and do it that way or they'll not really in half but they'll split their hair like in better sections than what I do. I'm not I don't have a whole lot of hair so I don't have to split my hair that way. My clip's not even wanting to stay today. It's how much how little of hair I actually have. So now I'm going to take my curling iron, which is completely, completely heated up. I usually heat mine to around 375, 350, 375. I don't go over that because I don't want to burn my hair. So now what I'm going to do is take this amount of hair here and I'm going to put it into the curling iron and I'm just going to pull it out and you'll see there's still a piece of hair here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and start curling it in and then after I get it in there and it's set, you'll see this right here, I'm going to start moving the little clip. I'm moving the clip in order to get rid of that little piece that was still hanging on and as you notice once I get it completely to where that piece is not hanging on anymore the curling iron should be able to move around completely in a circle so I can move this in a circle that way there I don't have any little extra ends I know some people leave out that little extra end but I don't like it like that I like my hair to be completely curled I like it all the way curled up so if you have a um, clipless curling iron you probably could do it even easier I don't think I've ever tried using a clipless curling iron, so never tried it. So now I leave it on for just about that long, and then there is my first curl. So there's how the first curl turns out. Nice and curly. And I don't put any kind of product on my hair until I'm done completely, because I don't like to spray product as I'm going, because I feel like it starts to get a little hard. And plus, I like for the curl to relax just a little bit, because I don't really want... What is that, like... Um, oh my gosh, what is her name? Curly Sue. I don't like Curly Sue curls, or like... Little, little Orphan Annie, is that her name? I don't even know. So I'm just gonna pin this back up on the top of my head here, and I've got my next piece, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put the curling iron in, and I'm gonna go in the same direction. You can go in different directions if you want to. That kind of will make your hair look a little bit fuller if you want it to do it that way. I don't typically do it that way though, so just so you know. So again, you'll hear, you can probably hear the clip thing where I'm just kind of moving it around, trying to get rid of that little, I call it a rat tail, where it hangs off like that. I know it's not really a rat tail, that's just what I call it. So I just keep on moving until I get that off there. And then my curling iron should move freely as soon as I finish getting it off there. Okay, see, I see it's moving freely now. So now I don't have that little extra end hanging on. So that's how I typically like to do it, just because I feel like it works better for my hair. I don't like that little end hanging on, like I said. So I'm gonna curl one complete side with you guys. And then, unless, maybe I should just do the whole thing. Let's see how long it's going to take me to do it. It shouldn't be that long, to be honest with you, because I don't have a ton of hair to begin with. 
So next I'm going to go ahead and grab another piece from behind. So I'm going to pull that one right here and I'm going to push this one up on top and use my little alligator clip and just stick it in there. And then taking my piece here, I'm going to put the curling iron in and do the same thing. I don't even brush it out, you see. I'm not even, <laughs> I'm not even super particular about that. You could probably make it better, I'm sure. So that right there went through very quickly. I, didn't, I only had to clip it one time and it's already twisting around completely for me, which is great. So this one's twisting. And you see I've got two curls so far. And it, they look healthy because I do use a heat protector. So once you've, if you do use a heat protector, it's going to make your hair look a little bit more shiny as you curl it. So there's that curl. So now we have three curls on one side. I'm going to pull this down. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab a piece from underneath and then put the rest on top of my head. So we don't have much left on the side to curl at all. Oh, I think I, oops, I just grabbed a curl. Sometimes that happens too. I was like, man, I think I grabbed too much hair. Nope, you grabbed a curl. Okay, so now grab this piece here and do the same process. Curl it all the way up and then until it lets go. And there we go. And leave it set for just a little bit. You can leave it set however you want to, however you like to. I leave it set for, I don't know, just a couple of seconds. It's not that long, honestly. But my hair is a little bit more stubborn to curl, so I do leave it probably a little bit longer than most people. So there is the fourth curl. And then I'm going to grab this last piece. This will be our last piece to curl. So I'm going to probably just finger through this a little bit so that I can get rid of any tangles that are going on there and make sure all this is back on that side. And then I'm going to put the curling iron in. And if any pieces happen to fall out, then we'll go back and grab those and do them with a different curl if we have to. But it, nothing fell out this time, which is actually kind of miraculous. So I'm just going to do the same thing where I'm just kind of letting it roll through. I don't want that little end on there. So I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. And now that I can feel the heat coming through my hair, I know that it's been on there long enough and I can just let go. So there are all the curls on the one side. So that's basically all I do to curl my hair and then styling it, you pretty much can style your curls however you choose to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with you guys. I'll probably, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it quick because it didn't take that long. Okay, so pin this on top. And then we've got our first piece over here. So I'm going to push these all behind now because they're done and they can kind of just start setting and relaxing a little bit. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. I'm going to pull it to the end and then do the same thing where I kind of take and just let it fall down a little bit so that it's not stuck on that little rat tail thing that I like to call it. I think I might have given it a little too much lax there. Might have to redo this one. Yep. I let go too much. So sometimes that happens, you just redo it again. Okay, do it again. Try one more time here. There it goes. That's the perfect amount. I'm just gonna keep on moving it around. So there is our first curl on this side. So there's the first curl here. And again, we're gonna repeat the same process gonna pull my hair down out of this little clip here and gonna grab from behind so for some reason I have a harder time on this side don't ask me why but I just do do you guys have one side of your head that just you feel like you can cooperate with better than you can the other okay and I'm gonna pin this up right there and then some of this came out so where that's not gonna go in there but it just happened to come out so now I'm going to go ahead and grab this again with the curling iron and curl it up there's no science behind the way I do it there's it's nothing real fancy or anything so I hope you guys didn't think this was like something that was going to oh man see I just let go too soon do it again I would love to try a clipless curling iron but honestly I'm a kind of afraid of it because I would probably burn my fingers off I've burned my neck using this one I've burned my forehead using this one. I've burned my fingers using this one. So I'm just not the best at curling iron. So that's why I typically just kind of do whatever works for me. 
you guys can take any pieces of advice that you get or any pieces of information from this that you get that could be helpful for you and use them however you'd like to. Now I'm going to, ooh, I think we do need a brush a little bit here. We got some tangles going on. So I'm just gonna finger through it a little bit. Actually, let me grab my brush. Where'd my brush go? Here's my brush. So I'm just gonna brush out, we got a couple tangles here. My hair tangles very easily. My hair, you look at it and it tangles, so sometimes I do have to brush out some of these smaller tangles. I don't want it to look like a rat's nest once I'm finished. And now I'm going to grab another piece out of here and just lay that down. And then the other side is going to get clipped over here. And then we've got this piece here to go on now. Oops, it's going in. We're grabbing the other curl. Make sure we're not grabbing the other curl. Okay, smooth it out a little bit. And grab the curling iron. And start doing our same process. Once you've curled it, then like I said, you can style it how you want to. I just typically, this is the easiest way I find to curl longer hair because my hair isn't super long, but it's long enough to where I feel like I can't reach my hand completely behind myself. So if I pull everything to like either side, I feel like that works the best. You guys have to let me know how you curl your hair. Is it completely different than this? All right, there is the next curl. I'm going to go ahead and do something with this little piece here hanging because it's starting to bother me. So I'm going to curl that little piece up and do the same process where I did before where I just kind of let it go. I don't want this front super, super curled. I'm probably going to flip the sides anyway on this. So I'm just going to give it just enough body so it won't bother me anymore. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some more hair out of this little bunch here. I feel like there's more hair on the side than there is the other. I wonder if that's normal. Have more hair on one side of your head than the other. I don't really need the clip anymore. I think I'm good. So I can go ahead and not use the clip. Let me just lean back a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Again, we're just going to take it like that and bring it in. And then once I get it in, I like to put, make sure this is pushed in and then start doing my little clip motion where I, I am trying to loosen it up some. Sometimes it's a little harder, sometimes it's easier. It just depends on how much of a little rat tail I left on side of there. Right now I'm having a harder time doing it, so there it goes. Oh, nope, I didn't get it quite. And there we go. And there's our next curl. As you can see, the ends are completely curled. That's what I typically like with my hair. I like for the ends to be completely curled too. Let me grab the rest of this rat's nest here. And we're going to finish curling this one last section here. This is the last section I'm going to curl. Actually, I think I can probably split that into two. Yeah, so let's do right back here, this one. And then you see my little rat tail on there. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Whoops, I went too far. Do you guys see it? Sometimes that happens. Okay, try that again. Pull it out as far as I can. And then curl this piece up. Okay, so there it is. And again, I'm pushing the little thing there, trying to make it let go of some of it. And then now we're on to our last piece. I think this is our last piece now. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So this is going to be our last piece that we curl. I'm not going to style it with you guys. I just wanted to show you how I curl it. So, oops, I'm facing the clipper forward. And now I'm going to curl it under or backwards. Now I'm just going to, again, do my same process where I'm trying to let go of some of it. It's really noisy. There we go. And let go. And that is the last curl. So that is how I curl my hair. So these are the curls that I end up with. 
And again, once you've done it like this, then you can go ahead and spray it if you want and let it set for a minute before you start styling it, or you can go ahead and start styling it to loosen up the curls a lot of a lot more. I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair and then finish styling it. So if you guys would like to see me style it completely one time, or if you're just good with this, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if there's any other kind of hair tutorials you'd like to see, I'm not great with hair, but I'm okay with hair. So if you guys would like to see any other tips or tricks or whatever that I do with my hair, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.